In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use some basic formulas in Excel. Here we have our spreadsheet with, for our Little League team, and we want to calculate for pitcher number one how many pitches he completed in the entire season. You can see here on 4-5 of 2012, he had 64 pitches. On the 9th, he had 39, 74, 49, and 80. Uh, we could get a calculator and tabulate those all out, or we could simply click on a cell. All equations in Excel always start off with an equal sign, and then sum, type in SUM, start a brackets, click on the cell that you're wanting to start the range out with, so click on 64. Hold down the shift key, click down to 80, and then simply hit enter. And it automatically calculates it for you at 306. And say you made an error, this 39 really was supposed to be a 49. You can see here in the total, it automatically calculates that out for you. So this is an easy way to keep a running total of anything in Excel. To get a little bit more complicated, we're going to click on the next tab to pitch breakdown. And you can see that here we've separated how many pitches he did into fastballs, changeups, curveballs, total pitches for the season, and then uh, the total for all the games combined. So here what, our, what we want to do is add up 35, 12, and 7 to get the total pitches on the 5th. There's an easy way to do that without even having to type in a, a number. All you do is you go up the right hand side here, click auto sum, and Excel automatically knows because of the layout that you're probably wanting to calculate these three columns. You hit enter and it automatically puts it in there for you. I've already, I already completed this earlier, so and ran through it, so that's why it put it in all the different rows. If you're doing this for the first time, it would just put it in this column first, and then to populate it, you don't even have to go to auto sum again. You just click here in the bottom right hand side, drag it all the way down, and it automatically adds up each of these ones for you. Now if we want to come get a total for the season, all we have to do we could either type in auto or we could type in the sum equation or click auto sum come over here hit the shift key so it selects from cells E2 to E6 hit enter and it calculates that all for you right there and just like with the other equation another tab once you make any changes, so say he threw more than 22 changeups, say he threw 30 changeups, it makes the change here for the pit total pitches for that game, and it also made the change here for total for the season.